Hi everyone, it is Kate from The Fold Line and I am back this week with The Sew Down, which is our monthly, even though it has definitely has been way over a month since I've done this, um, I'll sort of, maybe let's go bi-monthly, um, round up of stuff that we've seen, listened to, read in the world of sewing that we thought we'd share with you and that you might find interesting. So I'm going to start with some fabric, as I always do. Um, I have got something really special to show you and I thought you guys would be really interested in this. So um, this fabric is from Till the Sun Goes Down. Um, she, we know her, th we've like met her at the Knitting and Stitching shows and she was telling us about how she's getting some fabric printed in the UK and um, we were like oh my god show us because we'd love to see it when it's finished. So she sent us some samples of the fabric and I just wanted to show you because they are really beautiful and I just like it, it's really nice and really rare to get stuff that's printed in the UK, um, it's really hard to do and yeah I just thought I'd show you. So we have got the first fabric is this beautiful um, sort of elderflower um, fabric so it comes in four colours so it's got these are the four colours it comes in so like a coral, a blue, a green and then um, I've got a bigger bit so I can actually show you it on a larger scale. This sort of beautiful kind of mid blue. So this is silk mixed with viscose. So it's 45% silk, 55% viscose. Um, it is absolutely bloody gorgeous. Um, it has got, you can see, it's got a sl very slight sheen to it. Um, fantastic drape. I just want to wrap myself in it. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous and I just think if you've got something special to go to this summer this could be really nice. So the fabric it is pricey, it is £24.50 per metre but it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that is one part of her range and then the next part of her range are these really lovely, um, they're viscose crepes. So the viscose in it means that they are less synthetic than a normal crepe and they'll be, they're breathable which is really nice and um, these are 1680 a metre so I can if I hold it up I can show you it does have re I mean it's really lovely and they all have these sort of vintage inspired prints um, so this one comes in a red and a blue and then there's another version which is um, which I love it's got a real 50s feel actually to it um, so it's got you can see there's the print and it comes in this lovely blue and then they've, it comes in a green as well. Um, but I thought these were really interesting and um, I really like supporting, you know, like small businesses and doing something like really different and on a small scale and yeah, they're just, they are really gorgeous I have to say. I'm really quite excited about making something. I think if you were like, you know, millionaire's row of sewing can you this for a lining of a coat would just be absolutely like out of this world um but also oh dresses i just i really love it it's such i can't even i can't even describe what nice quality it is i'm mega impressed um so yes so those those are my fabrics for this month um i will pop links to everything that i talk about down below um so sewing um this month i well it was like last month so anyone who has been living under a rock will have not heard about tilly's new book um so i've got it here it is this i will again pop a link um so it's sewing with stretch um really gorgeous gorgeous book i'm i mean i know i've done a thing about it and i've spoken about it already but i just want to talk about it again because i really I'm just mega impressed with it and I really like it. So I am wearing, what is it called? So I am wearing, is it Freya? I should, I should know this. I actually just looked it up before I started filming and I've now forgotten what the name of it is. Come on, okay, yes, Freya. So I'm wearing the Freya top, which you can see here is just, you can just make it, it's like a simple polo neck um, or you can hack it and add a ruffle like Xena here and I have done exactly the same so I have popped this little ruffle around it 
I probably should have ironed it before I filmed but anyway life is too short to iron um I just really like the book I think it's really fantastic and I've worn this to so many different things it's really nice to put on when you don't know what to wear actually this top um and everyone always comments on it um the fabric if you are interested is from fabrics galore um it's a really beautiful cotton jersey. I'll pop a link down below because they've got them in lots of different colour combinations. And it's got a really nice structure actually and I've washed this probably three or four times and it's really, you know, I can tell that this is going to last for ages and not bobble. And um, this frill actually that you cut is actually just cut raw and it, there's been absolutely no fraying at whatsoever. So yeah, it's a really nice quality, quality, um, fabric and yeah the book is great if you haven't bought it yet I really would recommend it it's got lots of lovely patterns and if you are interested you can go onto Instagram because everyone has made stuff from it so far so lots of nice things to inspire you um reading more re reading so um the first thing is a new sewing online sewing magazine called sewing life magazine um, again, there'll be a link down below so you can go and have a look at it. It's a downloadable magazine so you just input your um, email address and then they send it to you. And it's Danish and you get um, you get one or two free patterns every month. And it's really nicely done actually, it's quite inspiring. Um, I love that sort of, sort of Scandinavian look anyway so for me I was like yes. Um, but it just it's just really nice I just sat down to have a, a kind of look at it and I had a cup of tea and you know half an hour had gone before I even knew it and it was just a really nice read and quite inspiring and you get a free pattern one or two so that's pretty good I don't know whether they're their intention because it's the first issue that I um have found and I, I wasn't sure whether it's going they're going to start charging for it but um it is really nice and quite inspiring so yeah go and check that out. Um, the next thing I have been um, reading, so we got contacted, so Athena is someone who leaves lots of reviews on the site and she doesn't makes so many things, it's unbelievable, I don't know how she manages to do it, but she contacted us because she's just written an ebook and sent us a free copy to have a look at so I could talk about it if I was interested and I thought you guys actually would really like it because it is so the, the premise of the book is um, Sewing Your Dream Wardrobe, which is something that has been written about quite a lot in terms of sewing. and But she's just done it really nicely. So you get an, uh, an e-book and you get a workbook. So the e-book kind of talks you through basically kind of going through your wardrobe, getting rid of all the things that you don't wear anymore, skimming out all the kind of crud, and then starting to piece together things that work well and um, it's been really beautifully laid out. I'll pop in a couple of shots so you can see the sort of layout of it. Um, it's just really nicely done. And then there's a workbook that goes alongside it so that you can sort of write down all your progress and how you're going and your plans, like, and, then, and thinking about how to plan what you're going to make. I'm really sorry, can you hear that? Next door banging, I hope you can't hear that. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was really nice, a nice sort of, book and it costs 18 euros which I think is about 15 UK pounds so it's quite an investment but I do think I had a look at it and you get a lot of bang for your buck so it's 125 pages so it's quite a lot and yeah I just thought it was really nicely done and it's really nice reading it from a kind of sewing point of view I really liked kind of thinking about mm, it's very easy to read about capsule wardrobes when you don't make anything thing when you're just buying stuff and it's quite nice reading it from a maker's point of view. Um, yes, yeah, so I thought that was interesting and you can go and check that out. Um, yes, listening now. Um, so anyone who has listened to this or watched this so down before, I've spoken about the Love to Sew podcast, um, which I am still so loving listening to. It's an American, sorry, Canadian <laughs> Canadian based um, podcast and they interview people and it's really interesting and I love it and there's just almost like not enough I mean once a week is not enough for me so 
luckily there is a new podcast in town and if you haven't heard about it I would highly recommend it it's called the Stitches Brew and it is hosted by Gabadashery and Megan of Pigeon Wishes which is still probably the funniest blog name I've ever heard and um so it's kind of a UK version of the Love to Sew so um Megan and Gabby interview lots of people on it and talking about different you know sewing in different ways and each each episode sort of has a theme and yeah I just thought it, that it's a really good podcast and I've really enjoyed listening to it and it's quite nice sitting at home having a cup of tea putting it on and pretending that basically Gabby and Megan are in your sitting room with you having a chat so yeah I'd highly recommend that and um we're actually going to be on it we just we went and recorded it I think it was this week and we were talking about um something that actually I can't tell you about I've just remembered we're talking about our new venture which is happening next month I should probably start leaking some more things about this um but yeah it's happening next month and it's quite scary actually we're at the sort of scary bit now where you think it's never going to end and you're very stressed but it will get there and it'll be great fingers crossed um the other thing that i'm listening to which i'm really enjoying podcast wise is the pool and this is a uk based online magazine and they write really interesting articles they're really I, if you haven't found them online yet go and check them out um kind of based they're there it's kind of with a women target in mind so there's quite a lot of things about motherhood going back to work like um the pay gap in between women and men's pay it's quite kind of it's it's really in lots of interesting stuff on there and definitely worth going and checking out and the thing I really like about their actual website when you're going to read things is they tell you how many minutes it takes to read each article so if you've got 10 minutes while you're having your lunch or you can kind of pick what you want to read that way but they have also done a podcast which is really interesting and I really like it it's almost like a a little nuggeted women's hour where each um, episode are, are probably only between five and 15 minutes long so not very long at all and each one have they kind of have themes each week and yeah they're really nice to listen to I quite like just sitting down like every couple of weeks and binging a load of them because it only takes an hour or so to get through lots and lots of episodes and they're all very interesting so I would highly highly recommend that and last but not least um I want to talk to you about the Sewing Weekender, which is going to be on the August bank holiday this year. And for those of you that haven't come across it, I'll pop a link down below, but it is a sewing retreat that we run. This is our third year and um, we're making it a bit bigger this year. We have managed to come up with a cunning plan to make it bigger because everyone complained last year that it was just too small and lots of people wanted to buy tickets. So we worked out a way of doing it, which I think will hopefully work um we were limited basically by how many sewing machines we could get from Janome, and we were like lots of people last year actually brought their own machines and so we thought actually if we can sell tickets with or without a machine it means that we can get more people to come along so that's how we're going to do it and we've got another really nice big room to do in Cambridge and it's going to be held in Cambridge again in the same university because it's so great there and they're so kind and they look after us and yeah it should be really nice we're just sort of like ironing out who's going to come and talk and all of the sort of really like you know the exciting bit before we have to do all the abdomen to sort out insurance and boring things like that but yeah it's um it's going to be in August and we will kind of keep you updated about ticket sales and everything else I think ticket sales will probably go I think they'll probably go on sale in May at some point so yeah but if you'd like to come um, I'll pop a link so you can have a read of last year's blurb and then keep keep the August bank holiday free right I think I have rambled on for far too long so I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you again soon for another video bye <laughs>